so women take lead in peace building because they are concerned because they are mothers and they are concerned of the security, you know, understanding, better understanding women peace and security. This is where the mothers are into. They, they, they want to, to maintain that peace is there. With key lessons, uh, first of all, um, Bougainville, I see as one, uh, one province or a region that, that has, uh, that makes peace the center of uh, our living. Uh, that's, that, that is one, but also for Bougainville, like we were the mature women um, leading peace building, we see that it, it is really important to, to, to continue that with our young women. And already in Bougainville, the, the, the Bougainville Women's Federation and, and um, National Center for Rehabilitation, we are working in partnership. Um, because we see that networking is important. There are things that Sister Lorraine might have that I don't know. So we collaborate together. They have the women, uh, young women human rights defenders, while Bougainville Women's Federation has the young women leaders. Mm -hmm. So in order to be a, a leader, you have to know what peace building means to you because it, it is it is about making decisions yeah. well this building um, to me personally is getting getting uh, nurturing peace within me and every day I, I should be waking up with a, a, a peace heart. First of all, I have to, to greet my family um, and then it, at, the, at the same time too, I'm starting with my children and then I, I go to the, the community. So importantly to me is Peace building, you have, you have to be a role model in that. The way you, you're modeling yourself, the way you're doing things uh, to yourself. So it's, it's just being part of finding a heart with, with the love, the care, so, and, and also as, um, um, uh, as a, a woman leader being part of the church as well. Um, peace to start off with is something that we are born with because of the love uh, from uh, God created uh, everything including humans with love. And that, that love is also always, always within us. But what happens along the gender processing, we are learning. We are learning things from our culture, the tradition, the, the way men think that this is a boy and should learn, or the traditional uh, leaders are. So with that, uh, already with the love, that we are, are, are born with, it's getting, it's hidden because of the things that we learn from the society. So to be a peace builder, you have to unlearn everything and, and find that peace in you. Yeah, um, when we gather in our regional conferences or forums, it, 
we, because each one of us are working nationally, and we um, sometimes we don't have uh, the time to sit and reflect. So importantly, is bringing us here is to reflect on the work that we do every day. And after the reflection, this is where we get our strength to go back and continue to do that work. And I see that networking is very, very important for women peace mediators, because um, I'll give an example where we come from our countries. There may be issues that sometimes can really put you down. So to be resilient, we, we get our resiliency from this networking uh, abroad as well, and the sharing. And, and importantly, we all come together and look at policies that would ease the, the, the burden that we carry from there. So um, learning from the, the other Pacific countries, Um, yeah, I, I will refer back to a time, uh, the kind of care they were having the, um, they were having the elections and we organized through the organization that I work with. I'm a consultant as well. We, we gathered our, our former ex-combatants, we call them veterans, we gathered our veterans and we were prepared to go and do a comparative learning um, in, in Kanake, in the Kanake. Unfortunately, in the eve of the last day, in the eve of the last day of what traveled the next day, something happened that our um, our travel was cancelled, and it was done. We don't know who did that, but yes. And I, I think we missed that opportunity. But um, looking back, um, looking back to the, the the burden, the pain that the, the, these two countries are feeling. I think uh, from uh, here, let's. Let's um, start the conversation by coming up with a plan, uh, a plan that would include the women of uh, West Papua and the women of Kanake to be part of the Women Mediators Network in the Pacific. You know, it's, it's important that we accommodate them, we take them on board so that we can help in any ways that we can help. So I presumably want to, to start off with, with having the women of West Papua as they are closer to us, to, to, to be engaging with the peace, uh, peace mediators of, of Bougainville, just to share the story and find an entry point into um, bigger developments of a way forward. Thank you so much for your time and that wraps up our interview. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.